welcome to News 18 Sosha. I'm your host, Srishti Negi. And today I have with me one of the jury members for this year's News 18 Sosha Reel Awards, a very acclaimed filmmaker, Ashwini Ayer Tiwari. Hi, Ashwini. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Srishti. So, this is your second time uh, with Reel Awards. You know, you're going to be judging, uh, you know, all the films uh, that were released uh, in the past one and a half years. Uh, tell me how excited are you for this? I'm uh, pretty excited. I'm looking forward for the Real Awards is because uh, I do feel that uh, we are in an era where there are so many uh, filmmakers, storytellers uh, and uh, actors who are shining so bright in the ODT space. And it is very important that uh, each one of us give them uh, the uh, credit and like, you know, like a award to, uh, to just encourage more and more... Uh, talent to come on board and to we get to see their light so i think it's very important for us to do that is because the more and more uh, you encourage uh, us as storytellers to uh, to enhance more creative people to come uh, and uh, uh, participate in the idea of storytelling yeah. it just makes a whole uh, like a ecosystem where it is just just not about a uh, few people, but a whole gamut of talented uh, actors, directors who would uh, show their light. Yeah. So, you know, this is for the very first time that, you know, Real Awards will be uh, celebrating uh, cinema as well as web series together. And like we all know that, you know, you recently made your uh, directorial debut with this fabulous web series called Fadu. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, how was the experience of, you know, directing a web series for a very first time uh, for you, Ashwini? Again, a lot of hard work yes. uh, because it is just not about making one film. Yes. It is about having like almost four films and I was not show running it. I was show running and directing it. Yes. Uh, yes. And it is very beautifully written by Soumya Joshi. Yes. Uh, but it was something very different we were trying to attempt, mm -hmm. which was like a poetic love story, yes. which is not being seen, at least in the Indian uh, ODD space uh, which I think we saw it in the older times mm -hmm. there were these stories which we wanted to spend time with mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to make a show which was uh, a, a show which people would watch mm -hmm. with uh, a lot of uh, love and a lot of relaxed attitude mm -hmm. uh, and also to get them back a little in this a little laid back in this run uh, for ambition kind of life. Yes. Uh, also, uh, I do feel that uh, Pavel Gulati and Saimi Kher and Abhilash Tapial, again, someone who um, has done some amazing work, mm -hmm. but uh, these kind of uh, shows and these kind of stories and also uh, if we as directors give everyone a chance to show their talent, it just makes so many more uh, actors shine. Yes. So I'm very happy with the kind of uh, feedback we have got on Fadu. Hmm. Um, a lot of uh, men actually have really liked Fadu. Yes. Uh, yes. Along with the women, but it's kind of a little uh, surprising is that, you know, something which is slow, something which is all about love, yes. something which is so sentimental hmm. uh, and also questions the idea of love, that what is more important, yes. money, love and how does it how does it play in our day-to-day -day lives for this younger generation i'm actually very surprised and happy that we have a whole lot of youngsters yes the younger generation of our country actually believe that you know it is just not about making money and leading a very fast paced life but it is also about having an equal balance between uh, love life and work uh, and this was very surprising is because uh, it is very important for us as storytellers to keep telling different kinds of stories which can somewhere leave an afterthought mm -hmm. and uh, what better a way to get this kind of response where we have so many uh, men and uh, women uh, youngsters uh, and also about the age of uh, 35 40 who actually feel that you know there has to be some kind of balance and what is love actually. Yes. So, uh, yeah, uh, so we attempted something and I think we have kind of found uh, a little bit of yes. success. Yes, yeah. but you know, off late, uh, most of your, I mean, uh, if you if we talk about your recent projects, whether it was Panga or Fadu or Breakpoint, the documentary that you made on Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati, the common thread was sports, uh, right? 
So where where does this fascination for sports come from? Uh, you know, as a filmmaker for you, Ashwini. Uh, I think sports is something which uh, uh, just brings everyone together, yes. and is also a kind of uh, it's it's an adrenaline rush yeah. where uh, if you are playing some kind of sport is very important hmm. uh, i have always liked sports i have oh, i was a, a now if you look at me it doesn't yeah. look like but <laughs> no <laughs> but uh, i was a long jump uh, player oh uh, and uh, i used to teach rappling i was a very okay. uh, prominent uh, hiker and uh, i used to do a lot of things but okay. not any more and i do feel that that also um, right now it's very important that people come back to the idea of sports and yes. and uh, what uh, bcci has done with getting the women's yes. cricket team and also giving equal pay i think is one of the most important uh, changes which uh, this uh, uh, our country is going to look at and it's so progressive so this is something which i really want to applaud in on this platform yes. it's very important for us as to do that because that gives us hope as storytellers to tell even more stories which can uh, bring more joy hmm. and hope hmm. uh, but coming back to sports yes sports has been an integral part of our uh, setup i really like tennis Uh, I'm a big fan of Roger Federer. I don't know how much I cried the day he said he's retiring. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, for me, that really uh, he is someone whom I really look up to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so tennis is something which I really like. And of course, uh, this was the first time Ritesh and me were co-directing something. Yeah. Uh, also, the story of Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupathi is something which all of us needed to know. Yeah. Uh, their their. what is their story you know why that break up happened yeah. and it also talks a lot about uh, human relationships yes because although it is a sport but it also talks about how people work together what are the kind of complexities which happen yeah. so sports teaches you human life also yes, yes. so uh, yes uh, panga predominantly uh, so there are only three i think only two sports films which i have done yeah. although i get attracted all the time with lot of sports films which came in to me yeah. uh, has been offered by many producers but i just feel that it's very important to tell the right kind of story huh. uh, for me panga was a very important story to say uh, because um, when lean in happened there was a very important conversation with happened yeah. uh, there was a huge study even in 2022 20 um, uh, 19 hmm. where there were far too many women uh, educated experienced who were leaving their jobs yeah. because they could not manage you know motherhood and working and working together yeah and uh, there is a question you know which says that yes i can be i can be questioned saying that if you have a lot of support you can do a lot of things and a lot of women do not have support they have to do everything on their own uh, my urge was to bake panga was to say that doesn't matter hmm. even after becoming a mother you have to follow your dreams and keep your identity intact yeah. whether it is a sport or whether it is something else and it is not about stepping out of the house it is also inside the house you could do so much more uh, because i know so many friends of mine who have become mothers and you know start losing their identity start feeling we all love our kids but somewhere we start losing our identity uh, and you know what uh, what is this what has happened to us suddenly because we all uh, seem to be uh, ambitious yes we all are educated our parents have given us good education yes and uh, somewhere down the lane when we know our responsibilities we also need to know um to know how to uh, you know make up our minds as women to mm-hmm. divide that space yeah. yeah and also sometimes think for ourselves yeah than thinking for our whole family yes. that little bit of uh, awareness that little bit of balance and also in the era of co-parenting in an era where there are where there are men and women yeah. the husband and wife who are equally working mm-hmm. it just becomes a responsibility both of the man and the woman to take care of their child yeah. uh, it is just not the woman's responsibility to take care of a child and i do feel that this generation of young uh, uh young parents hmm. are taking the responsibility because the more we have men pushing women to follow their dreams we will have like a whole uh, ecosystem of having so many men and women 
equally in the boardroom. I think that is what is important. Yeah. That we have a equal representation inside the boardroom. Yes, absolutely. Because where, I mean, they are the real policy change makers. They're the, I mean, that's where exactly the decision happened, right? Yeah. So if women are there in position of power, then I think we can have those changes. Yes. Otherwise, so the more women leaders we have, yeah. the more um, inclusivity, inclusivity we will yeah. be having. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, the kind of policies which are uh, which are changing right now in corporate companies gives more uh, leverage to have uh, actually encourages young couples to have kids is because. Uh, they give you that kind of uh, uh, whatever I say those uh, those yeah. perks, perks and yeah, yeah. and also uh, that you know you can you don't have to go to office every day you can have lesser number of hours to work you just have to like you know count in n amount of number of hours uh, you can do work from home I think that really changes you have uh, childcare inside the offices. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you have a maternity uh, holiday even for the for for the for, for the, the man. Yes, so yes. I think that are the kind of changes which is needed, and it's very nice is because the kind of policies which are coming in right now, even in our country, is so amazing. Is because it just talks about uh, uh, like you know women can work when once you're a mother, you have to put in less amount of hours into work, but still you don't leave your job. Yeah. That puts so much of less pressure, yeah. because the first thing for a, for a mother, its first priority will always be her child. Yeah. But um, not everyone is lucky to have all kinds of support at home. Yeah. Then what about those women who do not have that kind of support? Yeah. What makes them continue their work and not uh, leave their jobs? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You know, Ashwini. Uh, Coming back to uh, the cinema, you know, uh, it's already been a great year for Indian cinema. We saw how, you know, RRR has got us the first Golden Globe, yeah. uh, you know, this year. Uh, tell me, how do you see this uh, thing? You know, we are also nominated for the Oscars. RRR has been nominated for the Oscars. How do you see this? I see it as an amazing change. Uh, uh, we always had really good stories from our country. Uh, maybe we just didn't know how to promote it well. Yeah. And uh, with the, with the more and more storytellers who want to uh, want to tell stories on an international scale, yeah. uh, we do feel that it is important for us to not uh, just make a film and then keep quiet about it. Yeah. I think it's very important for us to make a film, make it well, and then make sure that it is shown to a in the world yeah. uh, and also the support yes. so when you have like a studio support when you have people putting in say because it's just not about releasing a film uh, you need also full infrastructure to make sure that it's been supported monetary wise also to make sure that it is visible in each and every place where we are competing yeah uh, and that kind of support is very important because uh, that's how the uh, the eyeballs come in. Yeah. It is very important that we collectively keep supporting each other and make sure that when one person, has, a storyteller has done a, has made a good film, yeah. which can see a world audience, which can be on the world map, which can take, because this, this is just the beginning. When we have one RRR yeah. making waves on the, on the international platform representing India, then we are going to have many more RRRs and hope yeah. That if they can do it, if RR can happen, then many more storytellers will have this hope that we are also going to represent our country and get something. Maybe, maybe we'll just reach, uh, reach the uh, like you know, just the maybe we'll just get the dust, but at least we are reached there for the stars. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Ashni. Thanks Thank a lot you. for talking to us. It's Thank you. Chatting with you. Thank you. <laughs>